Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be blow drying and flat ironing my hair and I will be using the newly released products from Revere, their Tribology, I don't know if I'm saying that right line. And so I got it for Labor Day where it was like buy one, get one free kind of thing. So I have the Play It Straight. Okay, and it's a hair primer for types three and four. And then the Bright Spot Shine Spray. Okay, so the directions on the Play It Straight say apply to wet, clean hair, scoop a dime size amount into palm, warm up balm by rubbing hands together, apply to hair in sections using fingers to distribute, pay attention to ends, finish by reviving or blow drying. I call it revering, they call it reviving. But obviously it's their company, so maybe they're right, but I like mine better. <laughs> but anyways, and then the shine spray you can use on wet or dry hair. So it says for wet hair, spray on wet, clean hair before combing to detangle and align strands. For great results, follow with a Revere primer and finish by reviving or blow drying hair. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use this on wet hair. And then at the end, after I finish flat ironing, I'll probably go ahead and use it on my finish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair off. Okay, and we're gonna start with the back. And like I said, I'm going to use the primer first. Now it doesn't say anything about shaking it, but I feel like I need to shake it, I don't know. But just says to spray it on there. I don't wanna to put too much because I am going to be um, blow drying my hair. Okay, hmm. I can't say for my texture hair that it's the best detangler. I'm not sensing that at all. Okay, I'm going to apply some of the primer now. Let me show you the consistency. Okay, it says to warm it up in the hands and apply it. Now these are the only products that I'm applying in my hair. So hopefully it provides the moisture that I need. Like I said, for my hair, this is not a detangling spray. Um, mm -mm. No, it's not. Okay, let's continue. And I'm just finger detangling. And you guys know that I don't use combs, but if I did, I would not want to uh, put a comb in that. And the balm doesn't have any slip either, in my opinion. Um, and you can see, like before applying that product, I can run my fingers through my hair really easily. Okay, let's apply. It, it kind of locks up my hair just a little bit, but it doesn't give me like detangling properties. It really doesn't. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the primer on it again. twist this up. I'm going to do one more on camera. I think you guys are getting the picture by now of what I'm going to be doing. 
I'm hoping that once these products become heat activated that there's a little bit better response um, on my hair. So we'll see. so I'm gonna all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish my hair. okay so I've finished applying the products all throughout my hair I'm still on the fence about this bright spot spray um, as a detangler anyways and the play it straight though I actually like it makes my hair feel really soft and smooth so we'll see how it feels after I go ahead and revere my hair I will be back Okay guys, so I am done. Here are my results. Um, if you compare it to uh, my last repair out, you can see that my hair um, looks a lot fuller. It's not as PC, but that's because I had to like finger detangle my hair a lot more because of this product here. It just is not a good detangler. So that's why my hair looks a lot more fluffy and full. Now my hair does feel actually really soft, really smooth, and I contribute that mainly to the Play It Straight. This product I would definitely use again. It's like a, you can't really see, but it's like um, a balm consistency, but it's not as like firm as a balm is. And then, the bright spot. I definitely don't see a need to purchase this item again. It just, I don't know. And my hair, um, if you can see, is shiny, but my hair is normally shiny. So I, I don't really feel like there's any um, extra shine imparted on, on my hair. Um, if you can see that. I still have a lot of texture in my hair. That's not anticipated to change or anything like that. Like I said, the hair feels good though, so I'm happy as far as that's concerned. Hey guys, so I literally just finished doing my hair. I am so tired and my head still hurts. Um, but yeah, so this is basically what it looks like. Um, I usually don't like it the first day. I like it better once I kind of set it and it, I don't know, does it its own thing. Now, I will say that I feel like this took me a lot longer than it usually does because this did not detangle my hair and I was just trying to use these two products. So I just used these two products. This was supposed to serve as a detangler did not detangle so I had to kind of go piece section by section trying to detangle 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 um, before I flat ironed I did apply my thermal protectant by sauce beauty um, these serve as heat protectants too but I just wanted to apply my sauce beauty heat protectant hey guys so I'm back to give you my final thoughts on the tribology Revere hair products one is the bright spot and the other one is the play it straight hair primer for types three and four hair okay now the only one that kind of tells you what it does is the bright spot on the bottle but the hair primer isn't really clear about what it does on the packaging but it is on the website so i went ahead and pulled it up so when you first go to the tribology page it says want stronger healthier shinier hair be the first to revolutionize your hair routine with new hair care products from the innovators at Revere. So these products are gluten-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, cruelty-free, but they are packed full of silicones. 
which is fine because when you're heat styling your hair, silicones are very important in preventing heat damage. So that's okay. Now, starting with this one, which on their website, they describe it as a finishing product. Okay, it's supposed to moisturize with nutrient-rich oils, reduce the drying time, and fortify shine. Now that's fine, but the problem that I have, because this is how I used it, on the bottle it says spray on wet, clean hair before combing to detangle and align strands. This product did not detangle my hair. If anything, it actually caused my strands to kind of like lock up because before applying this product, it was actually pretty easy to get through my hair. And then after applying this product, not so much. Now, what I should have done is stopped using it and just use the hair primer. But since I had already done, you know, two, three sections with it, I decided to just keep it going. But I feel like this product made my blow drying and my flat ironing take so much longer because I had to re-detangle, re-detangle, re-detangle. And you guys know I only finger detangle. I don't use combs. So it was very time consuming. Um, when I'm blow drying my hair, really anytime I'm styling my hair, period, but especially when I'm blow drying flat ironing, I need a product with lots and lots of slip. And this just did not do it for me. As far as the shine, my hair is already kind of naturally shiny. Um, and if you guys have watched previous videos, you know that I use my hair oil, which kind of has imparted like a natural shine into my hair. Um, so I don't feel like this gave it any like extra shine per se, but as a shine spray, it might be okay. After I finished flat ironing my hair, I didn't even want to use this product in case it caused my hair to lock up again. And now I'm going to have tangled flat iron hair. I didn't want to deal with. So I will not be using this product again. I would not repurchase it. Now on its own, this product costs, let's see, $35. I would not pay $35 just for a shine spray. Now other things it says on the website is it does Moisture lock, intensify shine, lock out frizz, preserve hair color, has avocado, acai extract, blueberry oil, tamarind extract, and kooky oil. I don't know, but I would not pay $35 for this. Luckily, I got it during their Get It Together sale, so I got both of these products for I think like $39, but I would not pay $35 for just this. Okay, and then we have the Play It Straight Hair Primer for Types 3 and 4 hair. They do make one for Types 1 and 2 called Wave Goodbye, but obviously I got the Play It Straight. Now, what it says for the Play It Straight is... Play It Straight Hair Primer is an emollient, non-greasy balm enriched with natural oils that encompass the cuticle to seal in moisture while smoothing and aligning strands. With use, hair flexibility and elongation increases, hair fiber fatigue reduces, heat aggressors are impeded, humidity halted, color enhanced, and shine intensified. So it is a balm-like consistency. Let me see if I can kind of show you. Um, it's not as like thick or hard as a balm. Let me get up and kind of hide the light. Still very hard to see, but yeah, it rubs in really good. And I do agree it is non-greasy, okay? So it is non-greasy. I really like that about this product. It does go onto the hair very smooth, and I think if I would've used it by itself versus with that Revere Bright Spot, that I probably would've had even better results. It does smooth the hair. After I revered my hair, I could tell my hair felt very smooth, but it was still tangled, so I had to detangle, 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 detangle. Um, and more detangling. So this product I would use again and I would either use it by itself or I would have to use it with a product that detangled my hair 
okay? Because I'm not using that other thing again. It just, it just made a headache of a blow dry flat iron day and it's already time consuming doing my hair as it is, so I don't need anything that's gonna add extra time, okay? As far as the finished results, I have gone outside like for five minutes and back in, so I haven't really exposed my hair to humidity. Um, I did, after, after I finished flat ironing my hair, I set my hair with my hair oil, and then this morning I put a pump on and just kind of fluffed my hair out of the pillow rollers. Um, my hair is very smooth. It is very soft to the touch. Um, so as far as that's concerned, I think that this product did a good job like smoothing it. Um, I'm most interested to see how my hair holds up in humidity because where I live, it is super, super humid. So today the humidity is 35% today and it's UV index is 10 of 10, so it's hot. I'm going to be sweating. The humidity is gonna play some role as well, so I'm just interested to see with the sweating and the heat and the humidity how my hair holds up. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I think that this product has a lot of potential, especially when it comes to smoothing your hair for the blow dry and flat iron process. Um, this product might be good as just a shine spray, but again, I would not pay $35 for just something that's gonna make my hair shiny. I have other products that do the same thing for far less. I think that's everything that I wanted to say. If you guys have any questions, just let me know, and until next time,